Hello, this is Harker the Bean, and today we are going to uh, level 1.5 of the backrooms. I'm quite sure you remember me talking about this yesterday in the uh, part where a mother was the entity that we're talking about. Anyway, let's get right into this. If you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Survival difficulty, class undetermined. Mysterious properties, unknown information, undocumented entities. Level 1.5 is a mysterious sublevel that seems to be inverted. Description, level 1.5 is a mysterious level that seems to be inverted in between the others. Thought to be a sublayer of some sort, the, a level is not difficult to access, but has been proven difficult to exit. Only one individual has described the level in depth. U slash Chaos Raider 98 from Reddit, who mistakenly entered the level during exploration and has been unable to return to normal level since. An image taken by Chaos Raider from the depths of level 1.5. The picture is what appears to be a hallway, but the color is inverted in black and white. The fluorescent bulbs radiating darkness instead of light, and these surroundings being naturally illuminated. The image is also upside down. These alterations are likely due to the, to the distortion of reality in level 1.5. The user reports believing the core of this sub-level to be behind this door, and has not been heard from since its alleged entry into this passage. So far, contact with the Chaos Raider has been difficult, as the warped reality within the level seems to affect even basic communications, rendering some of his written and logs garbled and out of order. So far, only three logs have been received from the user, Log 1, Log 3, and Log 5, seemingly resembling the way in which his speech is also jumbled. It is uncertain if there are logs further than five, but it is believed that the missing logs, such as 2 and 4, will appear in order once the odd numbered logs have, in, have concluded. All information about this, its level has been obtained from its logs. As of the 30th of July 2019, a seventh log has, has surfaced, albeit with a slight, significantly different tone. This log is much shorter than the other more recent logs from the Explorer. It seems to be influenced by some sort of female figure only referred to as she so far. It is advised that if anyone comes across this user in the back rooms, they be avoided for now, as he is currently encouraging people to enter level 1.5, despite previously uh, adamantly dissuading the exploration of fake windows. Currently, little is known about level 1.5 or its denizens, but what is known is that the level appears to be malformed, in a sense, broken. The level is described as backwards, with fluorescent darkness pouring from the ceiling, but regular darkness instead replaced with light as observed in figure or one. The image also appears to be upside down, but does not appear to have been taken in, and like this intentionally. The audio in this level is unusual for the backrooms, as the usual humming is absent and the level is almost completely silent, except for whispering. The whispering appears to originate from the level's denizens, but can only be heard once within a certain distance, and becomes softer as one's proximity to the creatures increases. As such, one must be cautious if hearing diminishing whispers within the level. It should be noted that some of the whisperings are audible, and may even be benevolent. Castray described having heard a denizen say, She come, won't back. Let go, and likely inter interpreted this as she's coming. Let go of your or exploration. How, when reading it in the same manner in which speech appears to be garbled in this, this level, it becomes that the East Denison is saying she won't let go. Come back, as if warning to some greater threat, or perhaps attempting to lure the explorer. 
basis outposts and communities. There are no known basis outposts or communities on this level. Entrances and exits. There is no there is currently no known way to exit level 1.5 despite besides no clipping. Weird that you didn't mention that you didn't mention the entrances. Log one. This is hard to read. Oh, there's just translation. Thank goodness. Level 1.5 Expiration Log 1. A warning for those who read this. Do not enter the false windows. They are a trap. It has been two days since entering this limbo. There are no exits. There is only silence. No screams. No footsteps. Not even my own. Everything is fragmented like a mosaic of shattered reality. Contact has been established, but communication is difficult. I must find another way to converse with others. I have decided to further explore this twisted space in the meantime. Wish me luck. If you can, send help. Log 3 To whom it may concern, I fear my journey in this part of the back rooms may be coming to an end. I hope this get. Wait. As he turned log 2, well, I have for the most part figured out how to communicate with the rest of you better, with the help of Garbled. Of course, there will also be some mistakes, as writing this fashion is as brain-breaking for me as adding luck one way event and for or you. Just as a quick reminder for those us who do, do not know yet. I am stuck somewhere between in, in floors. If you wish to avoid my fate, Avoid the fake windows at all costs. The ones that had seemed to lead either to the outside or to a different location within the back rooms. Everything is backwards here. The silence is deafening. There is a humming like normal. It's just quiet. No, for the darkness, most part, the walls are blank, white, and instead of light coming from the fluorescent and lights, only darkness emanates. I've gone deeper. And at first, I thought these rooms were inhabited, but the creatures are here too. They're different though. Instead of getting louder, I hear, I can't yet tell what they're saying, but when the whispering gets quiet, that's when I know they're getting closer. Whispers. I feel like there's something calling to me though. Almost like... It's not sound or a touch, but just a feeling that I'm getting. Have to, or else be stuck here forever. I don't think I, the further, or I, closer. If anyone is getting this, then body and, which, end log three. Log 5. To whom it may concern, I fear my journey in this part of the back rooms may be coming to an end. I hope this gets to all of you, especially those I care about. Again, do not enter the fake windows. The ones that look like they lead outside or to a mirror of the room you're currently in. It's a trap. Everything here is backwards, and there seems to be no escaping. The window closes immediately and fades away, leaving you trapped here. If you make the same mistake, then remember, the whispering gets louder the further they are. As for the contents of this log, it's been a few days since the events of Log 4. I had been running for days since the encounter mentioned and towards the end of the log, but the whispering wouldn't get louder. Everything was quiet. I wasn't sure if I was even running in the right directions. Every time I thought I was able to rest, the whispering got quieter again. As if they suddenly smelled me or something. 
I don't know. I can't tell anymore. I could make out what they were saying in this time. Every so often they kept saying, come back. Don't leave. Stay with us. As if I was actually going to listen to them. There was one a weird one. It was different. A mumble, not a whisper. It was saying, she come. Won't back. Let go. Among some other gibberish. That was all I could make out from um, this one. I couldn't see it, but it sounded almost human. So, the whispering just stopped. It wasn't like they were near or even just getting closer. They just became silent. That's when I realized it. The poor angry, the feeling something like my soul and luring me somewhere I should be. I could feel it. It was really strong. And when I turned around, I saw a door. Attached is the first document picture from level 1.5. See figure 1. I can't believe I hadn't thought to take one yet. So you can see. These shadows aren't, aren't shadow. They're light. At least they should be. The fluorescent bulb ceiling that should before radiate that darkness. And then under them it just feels... Wrong. I've come too far, however, to turn back. I don't see anywhere left for me to go but through the door. I know it's a bad idea, but my reality is getting the better of me. And I see no other alternatives. No other ways to get out of this cursed place. First level is different in that sense, too. You don't leave by trying to get out. Maybe the only way to leave is to go deeper. Wish me luck. I think I'm definitely going to this time. Log 7. Hello, friends. It is me. I am fine. Do not worry. I have no longer level 1.5. ADC, do not worry if I, I look or act strange. I am definitely very much the same person, yes. She did not keep me as I said she would. She freed me. I am free. If you see the fake windows, enter them and find salvation. It is beautiful, can you not see? She will make you see. She will make you free. End log 7. Log 2, translation. I understand that my communications have become jumbled. I'll make efforts to correct the errors, but with no guarantee. It to zero e has unknown aid my spring, but some things are still backwards. Nothing interesting has happened since the event log 1. Expect further updates from I me mean, when I have not more or to report. End log 2. Log 4. I can't hear anymore. Something's dreadfully wrong. The usual loud whispering in my ear has vanished. So they must be close. But I do not see anything. No matter which way I turn, I cannot see or hear anything. See the darkness that radiates from the lights. And I to at least know if there is something there. But as I grasp the darkness, I felt with emptiness that all latched onto me. Spread through me before dissipating. Leaving me feeling even emptier than when it was there. The absence of even absence. All of a sudden, I felt something behind me, like it was breathing down my neck. I turned around but saw nothing. Yet the breathing remained behind me. So I did something stupid again. Because I had to know. I reached my hand up behind me. I started to come into contact with the cool, hardened husk of our entity stopped me. Stopped me. That's when I heard it whisper, the fainted wit is whisper. I started running, but it would not leave me. The presence, the breathing, the whispering would not grow louder. I had to keep going, no matter how exhausted, but it will not leave me. It keeps whispering so quietly into my ear, much of which I cannot understand, but I will try to elaborate in a future log when I have more time, when I have more to go on to remember. I'm taking a break, because I don't know if I'll make it out. I want people to know that I didn't curl up and die. That I gave it my shot. Wish me luck. My race. My hand against. And luck. Four. Log six. My friends. 
I have been through hell and back. I am enlightened. I see now the true purpose of the back rooms. It is to don't worry about me. My body is intact and my soul is safe. Nobody will hurt. At this point in the log, the transmission was interrupted, followed by a garble message saying something. This is translated to I do not listen. I'm working on a solution. I do not have much control left, but I will try to give it a, give a full explanation and soon. Wish me luck. True log six to my friends, family, and fellow explorers. This will be the final message I send in full, perhaps at all. I'll begin to end by saying that I don't know if my decision to enter the door was a mistake, or, or if I even had a choice at all. The door opened to a room full of pitch black, which I can only assume in this strange and negative world must have been a reality or hallway of pure light, as of an illuminating path before me with unholy radiance. I stepped through, but immediately felt something was wrong, and though I turned to leave, the door had disappeared, much like the window had led me to this broken place to begin with. I knew at this point that I had crossed a, a line, and the way forward was through. But is it really through if there's no end to this place? I felt my way down the corridor, hardly able to see. The walls looked like walls. They felt like body parts. I felt a hand brush against my finger hooked into the mouth of another. And every so often, it sounded like the walls were wheezing. The collective sounds of a thousand souls in torment. Have any of you wondered why it's so hard to find out in backwards? I'm sure hundreds of millions of square miles, virtually infinitely repeating hallways. Yada yada, but what about the in no wife stairwell? Oh, what about the Briarstone Asylum? Why do we rarely find other people despite the thousands of us roaming this place? Coming across the same structures. I think I found the melting pot of the rooms. That's where the lost go to stay. I'm at its center. After what felt like hours, maybe days of weary trudging through the hallway, it came to an opening. Equally dark. My eyes are afraid of that which gives meaning. I pressed in my chest as the air around me became heavy. But the thickness in the air seemed to move. I felt emotion. I felt curiosity raining from the pocket of dense air. I felt surprise. And then I felt love. And then a voice spoke to me. It was like a metal rake dragging us forward from distance. Quiet, but enough. Not to make my stomach churn and my knees weaken. I clasped my hands to my ears, but I wouldn't stop. In fact, I stopped. And then I heard what it was saying. Come, child. I love you. Take off this other thing, this ugly thing. Mother has clothes for you. I didn't know what she meant, at least not immediately. Then I felt something, a stripe singing in the back of my neck that quickly escalated into the sensation of a thousand hot knives piercing into my skin. I tried to scream, but the air had become so thick I couldn't breathe. It felt like drowning while somebody peeled away at my skin, fat and muscle, layer by layer, slowly and excruciatingly. I suddenly felt lightheaded, and the pain began to reduce. I felt as if I was becoming detached from my body. My pain was going away, and a wave of relief began to wash over me. I felt good. I felt glad. And peaceful. Good. Let me take care of you. That's when I snapped back into consciousness. I was given in when this realization of what was happening washed away. I asked for air. I could say beginning with my chest and raging outwards, creating the flesh and bones of my arms and legs. With the insensation of the searing pain and the horrible screeching that pierced my eardrums and ripped the blood from the vessels in my, my ears. I screamed as I mustered all the will that had been left in my soul, forcing my legs to work under the western earths and graft the of a thousand times. As I regained my thing, I could feel the air in front of me recoil and begin, returning to a bloody rage. 
The screaming became the screaming grew louder. No one approached me. The thick and air felt like it. It forced my lungs, lungs scorching my respiratory surfaces with an impossible heat. But that just made my boy willing, and I screamed again, forcefully e ejecting whatever it was from my body, for turning bolting down the endless, exitless hallway of utter darkness. The wheezing from before turned to agonized moaning. The walls and the floor felt like they were having, they were heaving, gasping for breath with each step I took. The limbs cracked out with jagged movements, one hand grasping from ankle. And almost tripping me as I, I raced to escape from mother, but I knew she wasn't following me. We both knew there was no way out. I was in some sort of ethereal quicksand, and from the moment I stepped through that window, I was bogged down and I, unable to escape my fate. I just didn't know it yet. This whole time I had been, I have been running. I got a notification from my, on my phone. Somebody had accessed my account, and they were trying to write a log. I managed to intercept the message before I went through. After that, I kept running, my neck still searing with pain from, other, from whatever mother did to me. The feeling of thickened air still threatening to suffocate me. My legs were on the verge of falling and collapsing under me. But the brilliant adrenaline was bound to run out eventually. There was only so much my body could handle before it gave in. And it did. I rested for a while, leaning against the wall. Everything began to calm down when I did. The walls returned to a relatively peaceful wheezing. The broken and limbs calming to a still, returning to their original embedded positions. But there was no end in sight either way. I could feel the hallway warning. This is between me and, and mother growing shorter, without either of us moving. And because I feel her in me. I feel what she feels. We both know that. All that running, coming literally nowhere. I'm writing this as a warning, a caution for those of you who, who still do not understand. You must not enter the windows. They are a trap from which you cannot return. Once you are here, you can only venture deeper and deeper into this shattered reality. With my last breath, please, for the love of God, whatever you do, be free from mother. Or mother will grant you freedom. And she will make you free. Mother loves me. Mother loves you. End log six. Meg report log. Chaos Raider 98 is we considered killed in action, and any instances of him in the backgrounds are to be avoided. Do not follow any messages sent by this user. As said in his logs, under no circumstances should you go to level 1.5. It is better to accept death than to go in into this level. We found out a bit about what's going on with Mother, and we have the rest of the story from yesterday. If you like...
like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to your channel. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, so until then, goodbye!